Welcome back from the intermission, folks. Everything what we've been able to see uh, looks good so far. We are ready to proceed with the second half of the show, which I know is definitely going to be a lot more action-packed and probably a lot more... Uh, well, probably a much bigger roller coaster, right, considering what's on the line after uh, this next match, so... Uh, rest of the night sure to be one hell. It's certainly... Sh yeah. I'm already kind of getting excited myself. I can't even English properly. But, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into the next one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Interesting first from Onomichi Hiroshima, Japan, weighing in at 200 pounds, Eichi Yamaguchi. Hall of Famer coming off a loss this past Thursday. And been defeated by Johnny Maverick in the number one contendership match to see who we're going to face Ishimori for the High World Championship. Eichi will be looking to bounce back. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 345 pounds, Hyperion! The Mad Titan is also looking to claw his way back up in the World well, Heavy Championship rank. He's been having a bit of a slip up lately. So don't exactly think that uh, matching Kurt at the end of days was any help for him. We're underway here and dumps it each with that headbutt. Oh, missed that time. Test of strength here. Shot right to the back of the head. As Aichi up, Aichi takes him out with an elbow. Tie up, throws him down, throws him away. Oh, takes Aichi back down with the elbow, has him back up. Pull him across the back, drops the elbow. And now Aichi flips him with a hip toss. Block up, sends him in the ropes. Whoa, trying to go for the show tape, I got pulled over. Block up. There's the elbow. It's tackled down. Back up. Missed the headbutt. Takes Ichi down. Ichi back up on his feet. Lock up. Scoops him up. There's the slam. Tie up. That puts him in the corner. Lock up. Ichi with the scoop slam. And a cover. Bearing easy kicks out. Tie up. Pull him right across the back. Drops the elbow. Ichi with a left hand. Lock up. Curtis whip. Going after him. This is the headbutt. Oh, Ichi crosses the arm. Strike for the lover's last kiss, but Iberian throws him to the outside. Ichi back up. Koku rolls back inside. Oh, able to avoid the shoulder charge. Ichi fires him across. Takes the run up. It's called a headbutt, however. There they go, Aichi, hype, Aichi, hype, Aichi, one of the exchange that plays Hyperion away, oh, but hype, launches him right off, up on his feet, tie up, she flips him over, in the guard position, but gets thrown off yet again, hype pulls him up, a little behind, but Aichi puts him in the corner. Oh, and now Eiji just hammering away with the forearms to the side of the head. And falling over the ground and pound here as well. I go to throw him off. Tie up. Eiji, vertical suplex. Oh, and now hype up on his feet. Tie up. Series of punches. And off the ropes. Kick right to the ribs. Tie up. And I pair him with a big body slam. And off the ropes. Stomp. Two of them lock up. There's the headbutt by Hype. Into a cover here. One. Two. Ooh, Aichi able to kick out. Tie up. Aaron takes him back down. Into a cover. One. Two. Aichi able to power out. I knock the cock with the headbutt. Hype sends him into the ropes. Caught himself. This is the clothesline. And Hyperion. Has him all the way in, up and all the way down. Cover one, two, and they each able to power out in time. Whoop! Double leg takedown, and they each you now just pressing his forearm against Hype's throat here, trying to choke him out, but he gets thrown aside. And Hyperion again, 
all the way up and spikes him all the way back down into the cover. One, two. Nage able to kick out yet again. Lock up. There's the elbow. And Tyrion has Aichi up. Oh, gets into the ropes, however. Caught himself. Just the clothesline. Sidewalk slam. Oh, and now sits down. Argentine leg lock. It's really cranking back on it. Trying to bend the ankle as well, but Aichi able to slip free. Sends hype into the corner. Takes the run up, and there's the forearm. Hyperion takes him out the elbow. Has Aichi up. Takes him out the headbutt. Brings him back up onto his feet. Goes behind this time with call with an elbow. Aichi now in off the ropes. The Shote that lays him out. Hyperion up. Oh, gets laid back out with that barrage of punches. Aichi now with a stomp. That's hype up. Whoa! Missed on the end of Garrett. Hyperion taking advantage here. Camel Clutch! Camel Clutch! Cranking up on that neck and back. Aichi able to escape, however. Walk up. Oh, goes behind and takes him down with the backdrop. Pulls Aichi away. Has him up. Hyperion now in off the rolls of that big lariat. Has Aichi up. Boom! Oh, that shot right to the liver. Aichi now lining him up. Gold Rush Alpha! Turns Hype over. Cover. One, two. And Hype able to get the shoulder up in time. Lock up. Caught him. And Hyperion with a sidewalk slam. Both of them down. Both of them up. Irish whip waiting. Lays him out. That Shote. Brings him back up. Oh. Hyperion, however, has him up. Plants him with the power bomb. Cover one, two, three. Got him. Here's your winner by pinfall. Hyperion. A much needed victory there for the Mad Titan. Well, that would definitely give him a much needed morale boost. Especially if he wants to get back up in the rankings there. I honestly thought Aichi had him there with that trademark elbow of his. But should know that Hyperion is definitely one tough son of a bitch in that ring. Certainly showed why. Alright folks, we got our first four title matches here. As we're now entering pretty much the last quarter of the show. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right down to business. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SCCW High Roller Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 225 pounds, Johnny Maverick. After one hell of a war against Yamaguchi last week, Maverick was able to punch his ticket here tonight with a right to face Ishimori for the belt. And his opponent from Yawata, Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 207 pounds, is the SCCW High Roller Champion, Raiden Ishimori! Bone Cold coming off a victory over David Goon last week, which I honestly thought that he looked like that was going to be a loss for him heading into tonight. But he ended up coming out victorious in that. But we'll see if that momentum carries here tonight as Maverick already throws him with the belly to belly suplex. Tie up here, puts him in the corner. Test of strength now. Maverick pushing back. Caught him with a drop toe hold. Shimori back up. Gets it dumped all the way to the floor. Maverick going after him, but Ishimori rolls back inside. Tie up. And again throws the champ with the belly to belly. Ishimori back up. Caught with an uppercut. Raiden with the elbow there. Oh, Maverick with a gut wrench suplex there. Already with very early dominance here against the champ. Let's back inside. Walk up. Raiden sends him into the corner. Going after. Caught him with another elbow. Avoids the uppercut. 
Maverick dumps him to the floor this time. Kind of taunting him there a bit as well. I'm not exactly sure if that's smart to do against someone like Raiden. Oh! Try to lift him there, but Maverick just went all the way through. Catches him with the European uppercut. Lock up. Raiden spins him down. Tie up. Oh, caught him with that palm strike. Whoa! And he gets absolutely flattened by the clothesline there. Catches Maverick with the elbow. Caught him around out with a couple more kicks. Missed with the drop kick that time. And Maverick here trying to go for a rear naked choke on Ishimori here. He's got the body scissors, but Raiden able to pick the lock on it. Oh, and Maverick throws him with a gut wrench suplex. And off the ropes here with a basement drop kick. Shimori up. But Maverick throws him back down. Throws him away from the corner. And now just hammering away with the left hands here. Trying to beat Raiden down. Raiden knocks him aside. Lock up. Raiden with the elbow. Whoa! Now just unloading with knee strikes to the back of the head. Maverick gets a slip free. Gets rocked with that palm strike. Goes behind Raiden, sends him to the ropes. He comes off. Lays him out with the oh fuck my face. One, two. Raiden able to kick out. Absolutely got rocked there by that palm. He picks the leg and there's the dragon screw. Raiden with a spinning leg crush as well. This is the roundhouse there. And Maverick again able to pull off another gut wrench suplex. Throws Ishimori away. In the guard position. And now Maverick trying to hammer into him with those elbows. Exactly. He's managed to beat people into near unconsciousness before. Caught him with the elbow and down goes Ishimori. Has him. Oh, with that German suplex. Has him back up. And now with... Exploder suplex, Ishimori up on his feet. And Maverick puts him in the corner. Uh, whoa, and now Maverick rolls behind into the bridge. One, two, and Raiden able to kick out just in the nick of time there. Very lethal move there as Maverick takes him with that capture suplex. Has Ishimori up. And off the ropes, goes behind. Raiden, however, spins behind, gets taken out with that leg pick. Maverick pulls him up. And Raiden takes him out the elbow. Has him up for a waist lock. Now just hammering into him with a punch to the side of the head. Maverick up on his feet here, but Raiden picks the leg and spins him down. Has him, oh, Maverick with the body blow there to disrupt him and throws him with a belly to belly suplex. As Ishimori up, takes him down with the clothesline. Oh, Raiden backing off, caught him with a roundhouse to stun him momentarily. No, oh, he gets swiped the power bomb too close to the ropes. As Maverick up through waist lock, again caught with the leg pick. And Maverick now going to the top here, looking for the knee drop, and he gets it. And now with the German suplex hit again, Raiden up on his feet. Oh, but now here they go, Raiden, Maverick, Raiden, Maverick. Raiden with the Enzigiri. Pulls Maverick up. Oh, and another Enzigiri to the back of the head. Lock up. Maverick, however, takes him down with the elbow. Just going up top here. Connects with the splash. Pulls Ishimori up. Whoop. Sweeps him down. And now just hammering into him with the elbows here. Raiden trying to cover up. And Thor calls for it. Here's your winners without the referee stoppage and the new SCCW High Roller Champion, Johnny Maverick. I see a rather dominant show in there by J Mav. There's walks away with the title. And honestly, it's probably just Raiden get a taste of his own medicine. Treat people with violent tendencies, and someone just might give it back to you in kind. That got Maverick as your new High Roller Champion. Alright, well, that one in the books. Further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the next one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SCCW High International Championship. Interesting first, Challenger. From Baltimore, Maryland, weighing at 227 pounds, Kenneth 
Casper! Casper coming off a victory against Richard Energy last week in order to punch his ticket here. See how things go. And his opponent, from parts unknown, weighing in at 201 pounds, is the SCCW International Champion, Vincent Draven! Draven, who I know exactly has been having a bit of a slip up as of late. One of the more recent losses that he had was against Alan Galloway in their matchup as Draven was forced to tap out. We'll see if that, that juju carries over to tonight's match here. See, it might cost him the championship. Oh, he catches the punch there. Casper quickly breaking out of it. Tie up. He tackles Casper down. Whoop, oh, caught up the knee lift there. Casper back up. Caught with a one two. Sends Casper into the corner, takes the run up of Casper stepping away. Caught him with the right hand. Tie up. A left there by Casper. Takes him down with the elbow. Pulls Draven back up. Oh, tie up. Backing off. Caught him with the right hand. Ooh, big chop to the throat there. Irish whip puts him in the corner. Oh, going after. Tie up. Irish whip. Draven caught himself, however. Takes him down. Is Casper up? Oh, and there's the knee lift. Casper trying to maintain the offensive here. <coughs> Excuse me. Draven caught him with that right hand. Another right. The two of them really just exchanging shots here, and Draven dumps him all the way to the floor. Casper rolling back in. Tie up. A left hand there by Draven. Lock up. Casper with a scoop slam. Hooks onto the leg. Tie up. Casper with the elbow. Turns him over into a cover here. Draven easily got the shoulder up. Tie up. All right, here they go. Draven. Casper. Draven. Casper. Draven winning the exchange. Pulls Casper away. Mountain Arts are loading with the ground and pound here. Casper able to knock him aside. Lock up. Irish whip. Tie up. Oh, but Draven with a running arm breaker. Up on his feet as his Casper tie up. Has him here! Carpe knocked up! One! Two! Casper out with a kick out! It's backing off Casper. Looking rather livid, honestly. Irish whip. Oh, Draven caught himself. Lock up. And again with the running arm breaker. Up on his feet as his Casper. Lock up. Scoop slam. As Casper back up. Oh, Casper. I don't know if that series of punches. Runs him over into a cover here. Easily kicking out. Backing off. Lock up. Draven. Oh, Casper able to twist out of it. Caught him with a headbutt. Oh, punch is caught into a flying arm bar. And Casper to get his feet on the ropes. To them. Lock up. Miseria Cantati! Pulls Casper away, it brings him, no, I call the low blow! The knee drop right to the back of the head. Lock up, Irish whip, cut in the corner. High up, oh, Draven dumps him all the way to the floor. He's getting a breather in. Casper rolls back inside. Oh, able to avoid that jab. Running arm breaker there. Now Draven pulling Casper away. Has him up. Oh, this is the drop kick. Circling around. Tie up. Right hand there by Casper. A Draven with another Mazzidia Cantate right on the temple. Pulls him away. Turns him over. Cover here. One, two. Casper able to power out. He's driving away. Just drop right to the chest. Has him up. Lock up here, and Draven with a little dark age! Pulls Casper away from the ropes, turns him around some more, got the Ashes to Ashes locked in! Trying to hyperextend as much as he can, but Casper able to escape. Takes straight out the elbow, knee drop to the back of the head. Tie up. Draven, 
Sets him up. And up a roll since that running kick. Goes behind. Takes him down with the neck breaker. Oh, Casper's up. And Draven now. Spinning brain buster. Going up top now. Oh, Casper up on his feet. Rear waist lock. Caught him with a tomahawk jump to the back of the head. Takes him away. As Casper up. Casper sends him to the ropes, however. Waiting. Whoa, misses that left hand. Draven, spinning brain buster. Casper up on his feet. Whoa, Draven caught himself. Takes Casper down. As him up on his feet, flying knee strike. Sets him up, knife edge chop. Casper back up. Casper now with a series of punches. It was Draven away, turns him over, cover here. One. Draven needs to get the shoulder up. Lock up. Elbow. Draven back up. Takes him out of the DDT. Draven up on his feet. Draven, however, has him hooked. Carpe knocked him. Too close to the ropes, however. And Draven again. Another Carpe knocked him. Once more, too close to the ropes. Avoids the clothesline. Takes Casper down with that elbow. At Noga call the wall blow instead. Casper now to the top. No one over the leg drop, and Draven looking to take advantage now. Connects with the elbow. Not done. Back up top. Crimson Rain. Pulls Casper away into the cover here. One, two, three. Got him. Here is your winner, and still the SCCW International Champion, Vincent Draven. And the Prince of Darkness able to maintain his spot on the throne. The International Championship there. And honestly, it's a really strong showing for him for the most part. And a couple slip-ups that Castro was trying to make the most of, but in the end, Draven ultimately able to overcome the winning edge and keep the International Championship for another occasion. All right, folks, we do have our Tag Championship match up next. So as the ring crew is now having to get all that set up on the outside. Which is just a way of me saying, hey, welcome to the out of character portion. You can already tell that my voice is kind of shot already from commentating all these, but hey, we got two more matches to go through. Then I can give my throat a rest. I just got... There really is something when I have to, like, record for, uh... What should I call it? When I record, like, just more than, like, six matches. It's... <laughs> I don't mind it, because it's a pay-per-view event, so I really can't complain. Let me just double-check the settings to make sure they're all good. Yep. It always annoys me, because, like, the rope option will always be on. Like, it's a no-disqualification match. Why would rope breaks be allowed? Like... <laughs> I know it's in city and there's always roulettes and gambling and whatnot, but like, at the same time, we're a wrestling promotion. We ain't, we're not gonna stick that true to the whole Sin City vibe. <clears throat> Give me a second as I grab a drink. I say a drink when it's just a soda. Apologize for the ASMR on that one if it got picked up. <clears throat> Alright. Back in the character, three, two, one. All right, folks, the ring crew has got everything set up. All set for this landmine death match. Honestly, I swear, just like the previous board of directors, Kingsley just has, like, some sort of, like, hidden love for this kind of stuff. But, nevertheless, it's sure to be an entertaining matchup between these two. Got Wolf. One of the best tag teams that the XHF has ever witnessed, and uh, also one of the most dominant teams, whether they're masked or unmasked as well. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right down to business. There's the bell and we're underway. Double down championship on the line here. Nihilus versus Harbingers. Let's see which one's able to do the most as Ishimori got taken out that clothesline there. 
Going after. Whoop. Nihilus now. Maintaining firm control of this fire, but Daigo kicks him away. Oh, Daigo has no, but Devin reverses into a tombstone there. Scoops the Shimori up and plants him. Oh, great, and pulls Esmer down. Esmer flips him through. Oh, Devin with a clothesline. Sends Esmer crashing into the barbed wire. Arco, nice counter there by Jevin. Daigo kicks Esmer away. Tie up. Oh, takes him out the elbow. Lock up. Jevin with an elbow. Raiden now unloaded with the punches here. Daigo working on the arm of Esmer. Raiden, Japanese leg roll. Esmer quickly kicked him off before push kicking him away. Oh, doesn't get any purchase on that. And Jevin with the sunset flip bomb. And hinges a count of one, but nothing really comes of it. Daigo with a scoop slam gets taken out with a drop kick from Jevin. Raiden with a palm strike. And Jevin scoops Raiden up, takes him down. That's been a leg crush. Daigo working the arm. Jevin sends Raiden and the ropes. Collides with Esmer. Daigo from behind gets caught. Jevin pulls him up. Double leg takedown. Do an ankle pick here. It's equal submission to hold on both sides. Oh, and now Raiden with the undertow on Esmer. That's Daigo with Jevin really going at it. Once again, the Nihilus up on top. Esmer flips him through. Daigo with a scoop slam. That's a Jevin all the way to the outside. The double team on Esmer. Oh, the dragon through Jevin able to pull himself back in. But there's evidently blood down on his face. The shatter escape here, but Daigo quickly kicks him off. Real waist lock. Knocks Daigo off of Esmer. Oh, and there's... And now Raiden got the last dance lullaby here on Jevin. Esmer with an ankle lock there on Daigo. Daigo able to break out of it. And Daigo now. Submission here on Jevin. That Kimura neck scissors. And Raiden now hammering with the punches on Esmer. Pinning combination on Daigo. Only manages a count of one. Elbow to Raiden. Esmer sends Raiden crash into the barbed wire. Amazingly not bleeding. Oh. Ducks it. Kick is caught, however. Sit out power bomb. One, two. No. Jumping over to power up. Even before two. Sends Raiden into the barbed wire. Now Ishimori's bleeding. Got caught on the barbed wire there. Esmer there. The dragon screw. And Jabin with a handspring cutter on Daigo. Oh, Rain able to fight off the double team there from the Nihilus. Try for it again. This time they got him. The hook can set up into that sunset flip bomb. Daigo there to break it up. Now, oh, and Daigo with a confessional lies to Jabin. As Murnishi Mori still going at it. Jabin with a Hurricane Rana there. Rain quickly breaking it up. And now just stomping away, but. Esmer kicks him off, bridges over to a jackknife. Nishimori able to power out. Lock up here, and Daigo with a running arm breaker. Oh, and Rain trying to go for the knee strikes. Daigo fights off the double team. As Jevin, and now just stomping away on him yet again here. And Daigo got the Kimura and the next scissors here on Esmer. Meanwhile, Rain is to now power bomb one. Two! Three! Got Jevin! Here are your winners and still the SCCW Double Down Champions, the Harbingers! And just like that, I'll be damned on how quick that was. I mean, you got an explosion out of it at least, but. Ishimori able to actually keep Jevin down. Daigo kept Esmer distracted long enough that the Harbinger's able to retain, it's, you know, some gold tonight at least. But wow. I wasn't expecting that match to kind of go less than 10 minutes, but all right. All right, well, I'm just got to wait for the ring crew to clear up the area and Time for our main event, which is a rematch from 
I believe Gambler's Fortune, if I'm not mistaken, so this will certainly be one hell of a treat. As we go back to the out of character portion, um... Yeah, wasn't expecting the match to end that fast. Especially considering the recording, there's still like... I still have like a half hour left. Like, for it, but... Knowing how Storms and Galloway can be... This could prove to be... A lengthy match. And could take up a decent chunk of what remains, so... I'm... Fingers crossed here, like, I don't care who wins or loses... Just as long as it is, like, a decent length match. I'm talking, like, 15 in-game minutes at the very least is what I'm hoping for, but... We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Just fall back into character. Three, two, one. Alright. Everything's been cleared away from ringside. Whatnot. Blood's been scrubbed out real quick as well. And it's got our main event. Rematch from Gambler's Fortune World Heavyweight Championship on the line. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get down to business. The following contest is set for one fall, and it is for the SCCW World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Louisiana, weighing in at 286 pounds, Alan Galloway! The right-hand man coming off victorious and I believe his first contendership match. His first contendership match win, so I can try to claim the gold this time around. And his opponent! From Washington, D.C., weighing in at 241 pounds, he is the SCCW World Heavyweight Champion, Hunter Storms! Storms is coming off a victory last week, having overcome the likes of Andrew Daniels and putting into his winning ways. But we'll see if that momentum is able to carry him here tonight, or if Galloway will finally be able to achieve what he's been fighting for for so long, and that is winning a championship here in SCCW after finishing runner-up on so many occasions is tonight finally the night that he breaks the streak for himself. Two of them tie up again in Galloway with a forearm to the back. Storms up on his feet here. Galloway tries to lift him, but he gets thrown over. Caught with that left hand. Tie up, throws Storms down. As him up, tie up. Irish whip. Storm's waiting. Oh, and drops it with the falling star. Galloway kicking out at one. Throws Storm's down. Quick stomp. Champ back up on his feet here. Tie up. There's an elbow. Lock up. Galloway again with the arm drag. Trying to maintain the quickness here. Quick stomp. Lock up. Forearm right across the back. Turns Storm's over. Cover. Champ is again the shoulder up. Lock up, forearm across the back, slams the knee into the canvas, Storm's up on his feet. Lock up, there's the headbutt. Pulls Storm's away, quick stomp, lock up. And Gallo with a sidewalk slam that time. The Storm's up, missed with the big boot. Pull up and Gallo away with a neck breaker around right to the knee there. Goes for cover, one. Champies are getting the shoulder up there. Miss with the kick. Lock up. Caught him with an elbow. Tie up here. And here they go. Galloway. Storms. Galloway. Storms. Galloway winning the exchange there. Pulls Storms away. Goes for a cover. One. Storms easy getting the shoulder up yet again. Ooh, caught him with that right hand. Galloway responding with the headbutt that drops him. The stomp right to the jewels. Storms up on his feet here. Sends Galloway into the ropes. Waiting. And again with the falling star one. Galloway with a kick out. And storms out with a couple of knees to the face. Goes for a cover again. One. Galloway once more kicking out. Two of them lock up. Sends him into the ropes. Waiting. Tilt the world slam that time. Tie up. Galloway with the headbutt that rocks him. Has Storms up, takes him now with the clothesline. Storms up on his feet, big boot. Caught him with the left, lock up. Takes another shot right to the ribs. Sits him up, Galloway, going for the end already. The act of God, into the cover. One, two, Storms gets the shoulder up. 
Tie up. Galloway into the neck breaker. Sets him up. Act of God. Cover once again. One, two. Storms again. Ever get the shoulder up? Doesn't exactly have the momentum on it that time. Takes Galloway down. Has him up. Rear waist lock gets taken out the jawbreaker. Galloway again. Off the ropes. The act of God. Cover. One, two. And Storms out to get the shoulder up in time. Hartman storms. Big slam. Now going for the Achilles hold here. Trying to crank on the leg. Galloway kicks him off. Will caught him at the elbow and down he goes. Galloway has the champ up on his feet. Storm sends him into the ropes. Takes him out the spine buster. Pulls him up. Caught him with the right hand. Has him hooked here. Broken cross. Galloway up on his feet, however, as is the champ. Sends Storm to the corner here. So he got, oh, no, but Storm's able to step through. Got that arm triangle choke. Galloway trying to reach for the ropes, but he's immobilized, able to break free, nevertheless. As Storm's up, throws him down. Tie up. Oh, but Storm goes behind. There's the backdrop. Galloway up on his feet. But Storm takes now that set of knees. Get way back up. And Storms, however, ball drops him with the head trip. Into the cover. One, two. Galloway able to kick out in the nick of time there. Oh, but Storms, however, gone with the wind. Oh, no cover. One, two. Galloway able to power out yet again. Sends Storms to the corner here. Measures. Got him with the clothesline. Down goes Storms. Galloway has him up. And Galloway! Thunderfire bomb! One! Two! And Storms able to kick out in time. I thought he had him. Takes him down with that elbow. Quick stomp. As Storms back up. Throws him down. Oh, caught with that body blow. And Storms has him hooked. Broken cross drove him down. Drops down to the cover here. One, two. Galloway out with a kick out in the neck of time there. He got slight delay there. Might have saved him. Storm's now just getting a breather in. Galloway back up on his feet. Tie up. Sends him into the ropes. Waiting. Spine buster. And Galloway now in off the ropes. There's the fist drop. Brings Storm's up onto his feet. Oh, and now here they go. Storms, Galloway, Storms, Galloway, Storms, Discus Lariat, Galloway with the headbutt. Now in off the ropes again, but Storms up on his feet, however. Galloway, Thunderfire Bomb, one, two, three, got him! Here is your winner and the new SCCW World Heavyweight Champion, Alan Galloway! After so many attempts at scaling the mountain and falling short every time, Galloway has finally done it and finally achieve what he has been searching for for so long and that is just a championship whether it was the world heavyweight the international or the high roller he's finally done it and can at this point now truly say Galloway is God absolute stunning victory there from him could have gone out of the way between those two, but Galloway finally able to persevere. And with that, the new World Heavyweight Champion and the man that's now sitting at the top of SCCW. It's been something that's been coming for quite a long time, if I'm being honest. And really, all you can have to look back, especially, is just how far he came back. Especially in the Rags to Riches tournament. Only ever lost once. And it was to the man that he just beat the title for. And he was finally able to get 
some measure of retribution. Man. Uh, I don't really have much in of way of closing announcements other than uh, I think it's this upcoming Sunday. So the next EOD show is, so you definitely want to tune in for that as Daigo will be defending Junior Heavyweight Championship against uh, Tap Out. Uh, can't I'm already blanking out on the freaking <laughs> challenger's name, Sam Sawyer. Let me defend the Junior Heavyweight Championship against Sam Sawyer next in that one. So I'm hoping that he's able to hold on and we get to hold on to a global title for another month. Be very happy about that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say in terms of closing announcements. Uh, as per closing remarks go, thank you those who came out tonight. Thank you those who joined our broadcast on our YouTube channel. We greatly, greatly appreciate your guys' support week in, week out. It means a lot to us. It really does. And, yeah. Once again, my name is Alistair Mayfield. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And I will see you all next week for another edition of Wednesday Night Voltage. Take care, and good night.